It's the day after the storm. It wasn't really that bad. Um, got a fair bit of wind most of the day. And then at about eight o'clock, it really kicked in, but only for about 20 minutes, but got some re really gusty winds. Uh, fair bit of rain. I think there was some hail, heaps of thunder and lightning. And then we got this. So it's gonna be nice today. Um, I got to work and then they sent us home five minutes later because the shed I work in got flooded. Um, we've had heaps more rain than what we got like on previous occasions, but I think one of the gutters or downpipes or something broke and it over backflowed or got blocked or something, I don't know. I didn't ask any questions, they just said go home. So I said, yeah, okay. So the guys are fixing it now, but the whole floor's flooded. They didn't want anyone walking around in there. So that's worked out quite well. So what I'm gonna do today, Oh, I've just put this on. It's another rear light. It's all zip tied, so it can't go anywhere. Plus, the bag's nice and solidly mounted. If you watched that video yesterday, um, I was thinking last night I couldn't sleep, and I was just thinking about these brakes. I think I mentioned it. Um, they're the wrong way around. And I asked a I asked a question on the um, this bikes forum on oh not forum on the Facebook page, and everyone in America that's apparently how bikes come with the right brake for the rear. But in Australia and most other places, the right brake is for the front. And from what I can understand, the guys on the forum, on the Facebook page was saying that um, even motorbikes, the front brake, uh, front right, sorry, the right hand brake is for the front tire. But on push bikes, it's for the rear. So it's a bit confusing. I don't know why they do that. But um, I'm gonna swap them. Um, it can't be that difficult. So you just take that off, undo that, that's the hose, and then that hose is going to go there, and that hose is going to go there, I reckon. Um, obviously you're going to lose some oil, so I'll try and be put a rag down and catch most of it before it goes all over the brake discs. And then I've got the brake bleed kit, and I'll just get this stuff. I used to use this in my mountain bike uh, when it needed a re-bleed, so it's just car, car um, it's for a car, not for a bike, and that was like, 15 bucks for a litre and it's the same stuff um, it's just mineral oil. that's all it is so um, yeah I'm gonna do that um, so I'll do I'll do one well, actually, you got to do both of them at the same time I might just leave the camera running and um, we'll see how we go Wrong size. I got a feeling this is going to get messy. But if I kind of back them both out, just to the point where they're not leaking, I can kind of do them together at the same time quickly, hopefully. With two people, it'd be even easier. You wouldn't lose much fluid. There we go, so they're both ready to go. interesting to see how much we lose so that's loose that's loose and go oh nothing's nothing's coming out so that's good oops oh, put this one in oh it's pretty oh no that's all right if that goes around there there it I just hope doing this uh, doesn't introduce a leak with the little olive that's there. Uh, we'll see. There's a bit. It's definitely going to have. It's definitely going to have um, air in the system now. But hopefully, I can just crack this top top plate up here where the oil goes. So make sure if you are going to do it. 
Um, don't squeeze a brake because you're going to get we've got tomato sauce everywhere and start them off with your fingers to make sure you haven't cross threaded it because it's a very fine thread very easy to cross thread so I didn't lose one drip of oil there's nothing on the rag nothing dripped out there's a little bit on the a little bit on the hose but nothing serious okay that's nipped up put the cover back on yes yeah, so I always take them as far as I can with my fingers and then also make sure that you know it's not just half a turn or something make sure you can at least get three or four turns out of it with your fingers and then you'll know it's not crossed um, yeah I just I just hope you can reuse those olives I don't know I've mucked around with brakes too much so hopefully they're not just a one use thing so we'll see all right well that went pretty good take some of the oil off that was quite clean actually all right so now that geez that oh, that one's a bit if you can see that that's almost hitting the um, thing so I'll crack them and I'll just re-bleed them and top them up if necessary but this one was less than this one anyway so yep so now that is definitely the front brake cool oh that was easier than thought um, I'll get the boys. What are you doing? Come on, you just had your walk. Now, the more they play now, the more they sleep later, which is good. Uh, don't tell me they've used different. Oh, good one, guys. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's the bleed screw, right? Eh? I'll, I'll go in for the zoom. So, I was trying to undo that. I thought you had to take the whole plate off, but there's just a bleed nipple there, so you did no need to take the whole plate off. So, I'll do the same on that side. Now, that should. Just drip a little bit in. You gotta find the right. Oh, actually, there's a funnel here. Make sure there's no, there's no poo in it. That's the wrong one. So, this kit comes with a whole heap of um, adapters. Um, Tektro, a pretty well known brand, so. Hopefully it's in here, I'd be surprised if it's not. And I'll just use the funnel. I think the syringe is if you're doing it from the bottom. Um, it's a wider... Again, you kind of want to do this with your fingers. And not force it. Because... Good. Oh, hang on. What's okay? So we need that one. Yeah, it's a different. It's a different it might be the. No, it's too big. Um. Don't need any of them. Oh wow. Jeez. That's way too big. Must be this one. Not too small. Oh wow, okay. Um, is it this one? Nope. Post is here, not for me. That's way too small. Not small. Not that one, not that one, not that one. It's gotta be this one. It's just there's not a lot of thread on it. Probably it's got an O ring, but it doesn't need one because there's an O ring there. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Okay. Right, so then you go. I think you go. I think you can just. 
screw that straight on that, eh? This is probably going to be the messy bit. That's enough. Probably going to be. Oh, yeah, you can see the bubbles. That's all it is. Oh, that's really good now. Just got to shake up. I can still see bubbles coming out. That's just what's in the lines. So, let's see if you can have a look in here. No, it's finished. I'll show you on the next one. Yeah, okay, I'll show you on the next one. I'm actually going to go for a ride today. I'm going to do that big Swan Valley ride. Okay. Yep, that feels good. So now, let's pretty much make a mess. I don't think you have much of a choice. Um, I'll just see if I can get this back in the bottle. Yep. Oh, that made a really big mess. I just dropped it. Um, there we go. Can drain back in the bottle. Not too bad. Thought it was going to be a bit more difficult. That's why I've been putting it off. And I thought oh, I'd just get used to it. Okay, so just make sure um, all the uh, O rings stay where they're meant to stay and you don't like double up on O rings because um, that's not good. I did that when I changed the um, oil filter in a car when I was doing uh, work experience in, oh, would have been year 10 or so, it would have been like 14 or so, and um, I didn't check, no one told me to, but apparently it's a, a known thing, but not at, not at 14 years old, it's not, and um, the, car, the guy started the car up and it just pissed um, oil all over the workshop it was a double I left the old um, o-ring on and then new new one as well went on and uh, yeah didn't like that and as soon as it started the car up it just pissed oil everywhere okay oh that's heaps better that only comes back a little bit now nice okay so we'll do this one can probably do it where it is this, this one feels pretty good, but I want to top it up and just get rid of the, the air out of it, that's all. Because as you ride it, it'll get worse, because the air comes up to the top. And it's not hard. It's not hard, it's just messy. That's the only thing. Um, so this, one, this one's a bit easy to do, because it doesn't have the throttle in the way. You can move the brakes, I suppose. When I say move it, you can loosen it, and they should should probably be a bit more upright, but it's all good. Um, why is that not going in? There she goes. Okay, and we'll just put a little, little bit. Yeah, that's probably enough. All right, let's see if there's any bubbles. Yeah, heaps, eh? So. Oh, that's tight, yeah. As long as that's the highest part on the system, um, should be fine. And that's it. I oh, know, a couple more, more just came out. You can see it there. They should be better than better than what it was, I reckon. So that one moves about a two centimeters. Yeah, and same with that one. Okay. I 
Yeah, that's fine. One or two little bubbles. You're, not gonna, you're never going to get it all out. Alright, put that back. That's good, so there's not a lot of oil, not a lot of oil left in there. So I'll probably get my rag. Probably leave. Let that drip back in the bottle. I'll probably leave that connector on that funnel because I don't have any other bikes or anything that are um, hydraulic. Yeah, a bit tricky this, it's got an o-ring so you got to like kind of push past the o-ring to get to the thread but you, you do, you know when it's, it's a coarse thread so you can't really stuff it up the other one gave me a bit of grief but I had it as got to kind of put some downward pressure while you're tightening it no doesn't want it. What's going on? Unless there's a lot of oil and it's not letting me compress it in. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, I just squeeze a bit out. There's too much oil in it. You can see it right to the top. There we go. Feels like this is too big. It'll go. There we go. Yeah, that's what it was. There's too much oil in the reservoir up the top there, and it wasn't allowing me to push the screw in because it's non compressible and all that. Still feels good. Yeah. Yep, the same. Perfect. Okay, so that's brought me back to normal now. So I've got my front, front brake here. Yep, nice and tight, rear brake on the left. Oh well, I was, uh, I was worrying about that because I didn't really want to bleed the brakes on a brand new bike, but didn't have to, so that's good. Just had to top them up. Alrighty. Um, how long is this video? Yeah, I'll cut this video, and I'll start a new video for the ride, but um, it is, what's the time, let me check. It's quarter past eight, sun's out. And I reckon we're sweet. It's going to rain tomorrow. Or it's going to start raining again tonight at 10 o'clock. So I think it's uh, it's a goer for this morning. So I'm going to start getting ready. Everything's charged up. Uh, bike's good to go now. So I'll just clean up this. Clean up this mess. And yeah, that's it. Good to go. Um, nothing else. I might just check the tyres. Um, because brand new tubes they stretch so I want to make sure they're still I've, I run 50 psi in them it says max 65 I think that's a bit too too hard for these type type of tires but yeah I'll put 50 55 in and um, should be right I don't know that this has got trader valves like a car so, and I think they're good for about 80 80 psi or something like that when you start going higher you need those Presta valves and I just realized those TPU tubes that I bought all those spare ones uh, these ones, you can't bloody, you can't take the, um, the what's the name, the valve core out, which means you can't put slime or armadillos or any type of tyre sealant in the tube, which is a bit of a shame. Um, it won't squeeze past the valve, no way. So they're, yeah, so it doesn't matter. Um, they reckon they're very puncture resistant, so it should be fine anyway. But anyway, all right. I'll get this. Um, I'll cut this video, and we'll start a new video for the um, for the ride. I think I'm going to record it all. I'm going to probably say this again in the next video, but I'm going to record it all on the Acaso while I'm riding, and then if I do stop and jump out anywhere, I might use the phone. But we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you later. I'm not too sure. I just did a whole thing there, and I don't know if it was recording or not. Um, so I'll quickly just go over what I said. Um, just got some stuff in the mail, got an alarm, um, I'm sure you know how they work, uh, remote control, so it's just uh, lock, unlock, I don't know what the buzzer is, I think that's just to scare someone away, and then a bell, which is way too, way too loud, 
Um, so it's literally lock it, and if you bump the bike or whatever, it'll give you a warning, and then you bump it again within three seconds, and the whole alarm system goes off. So pretty handy if you're just out getting the coffee or whatever. I'd still lock the bike up, but at least if someone's tampering with it, you'd know. So that's pretty cool. I'll put that on the on the key rings. Put that on there for the bike. So you got a, a lock, key for the lock, key for the bike, and then that'll go on there. Uh, yeah, so that's the instructions for the alarm. Just the sim they're just off Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, whatever. Um, and that's it. Yeah, it's gone really well. So uh, I think I'll, I'll just turn the screen off. But um, yeah, 47.1 kilometres and 46% battery left. So pretty happy with that. And I was on pedal assist one pretty much the whole time. Just uh, just when there was a hill, I'd bump it up. The only thing that come out of that ride is I've got to uh, just the handlebars are a little bit to the left, so I've got to get them a little bit more to the right. You can't really tell. I've got them it's pretty good, but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like turning left to keep the bike straight. So I just got to loosen these two, these two bolts here and um, kick it over a couple of degrees and she'll be right. But other than that, everything else went really good. It was very, very comfortable. So yeah, I could have easily done another 30 Ks and not felt it, I don't reckon. It's pretty good. I probably would have had to go up to level two um, just the legs were getting tired. It was like two and a half hours of riding, but um, other than that, it was pretty good. Pretty happy with that. So, uh, all good. All right, well, I'm going to sign off and I'm going to go edit some videos and um, we'll catch you on the next one.